Hello friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome again to another episode of Data Access Objects. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the DAO or Data Access Object Interface. The Data Access Object Interface defines the standard operations to be performed on model objects. This class will be an abstraction of the class that will hold the concrete implementation of our persistence logic. Let's go to Eclipse and create a new class. In our project, we're going to right-click on the com.javacodejunkie package, and then click New, and click Interface. The interface that I'm going to create is Employee DAO. And click Finish. And in this class, I'm going to define all of the methods that we're going to use in our Data Access Object interface. The first returns an employee object. Get will pass an int, which will be the ID of the employee object. And this method will throw an SQL exception or a SQL exception. Next, we'll get all employees and that will return a list of type employee, get all, also throws a SQL exception. Next, I have a, a method that I always include in my DAOs called save, and that save is meant to, under the covers, do either an insert or an update, depending on whether there is a value other than zero for the ID in the employee object. And we'll see that in action when we get to the DAO implementation in the next video. Returns an integer, save, employee, employee also throws a SQL exception then we have insert also returns an integer Too many R's. Update. And finally, delete. So this is the employee DAO interface. And if you look at the contents of this interface, you'll see that it will be very similar for every class that we need to write that requires persistence or saving of data to a relational database or, or elsewhere. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this into a generic interface, which we're then going to extend specifically for our employee DAO. So let's change this to just DAO and then I'm going to provide a type for the DAO. And now everywhere we see employee, we're going to change that to T. So I'm going to use the refactor rename and switch that to T. And then everywhere that we have employee, I'll also switch that to a lowercase T. And now we have a generic interface. I'll save that, organize our imports, and we'll rename the employee DAO to just DAO. And now we're going to create another interface. Right click, New Interface. And this is going to be our employee DAO. Click Finish. And then this employee DAO will extend the DAO that we just created.
By extending our DAO in this manner, we actually provide for the ability to add additional methods in our employee DAO that are not present in our standard DAO. So for example, if we wanted to add something specific to an employee, say uh, find by last name, then we could include that in our employee DAO, but not in our standard DAO because that wouldn't make any sense for that to be available for any other type of DAO. In the next episode, we're going to be creating a concrete implementation of this employee DAO. So I hope you'll join me then. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any videos when I release new content. Thanks so much for hanging out again today. It's appreciated as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and keep on coding.